Good morning, everyone. It's Delando McWilliams here. Um, I just wanted to talk to you all about a topic that was on my mind and that I've been reading in these chat groups um, um, on stuttering. Um, and that um, that question is, or that concern is, when do I tell my potential date or my date that I stutter? And in my opinion, and this is just my opinion, no one else's, um, from which I know, but I'm just speaking on my, on my, my thoughts. I feel that you shouldn't have to tell them and you shouldn't tell them. You shouldn't bring it up. I, I should say you shouldn't bring it up um, because I feel that it creates a lot of anxiety when you feel like you need to tell somebody about you that you feel is a negative thing or that you feel may curve or sway someone's feelings towards you. Um, and it brings about a lot of self-doubt and a lot of uh, um, low self-esteem and a lot of, like I said, anxiety, you know. And um, I just feel like you don't need to bring it up because there's so much more to you than you're stuttering. You know, if if you're meeting this person in person and and you step into them and you feel like you know well you know they're they're very attractive so i want to talk to them and and when they see that you have that confidence to talk to them even though you stutter it will build some type of uh, of connection uh towards them and it will make them feel like you know well this person is confident even though though they stutter they you know like they still step to me you know what i'm saying and you know it 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 brings it it's an attraction you know um and if you're meeting this person online or whatever and, and you get the number you know and and you're texting and you're texting because you're afraid to speak to them because you don't want them to know that you stutter then that's not good you know you have to make it a priority to talk to them over the phone so that you can get a sense of a sense of their voice and get comfortable with their voice and they get comfortable with your voice so that they so that when you all do meet each other in person you know, there's there's a connection there, and there's a sense of being comfortable with that person. Um, so when you do talk to them over the phone, they will know that you stutter. You know, um, you know, and I feel like you know you shouldn't bring up uh, the topic or whatever, or you know, think that it's something that will uh, hinder your relationship with that person, you know? Um, so I I feel like you shouldn't bring it up at all. Now, if they bring it up, then that's fine. And then that's good. Then you can talk about it if they ask about it, you know? And that's good because it shows how much they are interested in you, you know? And, and they want to know more about you, you know what I'm saying? Um, and I know at times, like for me, I know at times when I'm speaking, I used to tell people and for, and for some people, you know, this may work for them, but in the past I used to tell people, you know, I stutter, you know, before I speak or before I spoke, I would tell them, you know, I stutter and it would, it would give me a sense of being more comfortable and more relaxed a feeling of, of being more comfortable and more relaxed um, so that, you know, when they know that I stutter, so I don't have to be so anxious and so worried about them finding out that I stutter. But, 
you know, if you're dating someone or in the process of dating someone, um, you, I feel like you shouldn't, you know, bring it up as something that's negative, you know, well, you know, um, I, I do stutter, you know, I, I just wanted to, uh, to let you know that, you know, um, is that a problem? Like, where's the confidence at? Where's the confidence? You know, you, you got to have that confidence, you know, it, it, and if you do want to bring it up, then you can say, you know, if they ask some things about yourself, you can say, you know, well, you know, I'm, I'm this, I, I do that, I do that. Um, and also, yeah, I do stutter uh, from time to time, you know, and then, and then they may ask about it more and more and get to know you but like i said don't bring it up as something that's negative and something that that could be a hindrance in in your relationship you know if you're going to bring it up however i still feel that um i still feel that you shouldn't um and um if if they want to and then that's fine and if you all I want to talk about it from from their questions or whatever then that's fine and that's showing like I said that's showing that they are very much interested in you you know and if they if they continue to talk to you even though you stutter without even bringing it up and they know and they hear it you know and, and then that's also a good sign but um you know but this is this my thoughts and my opinion. So you know, um, I'm 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 not an expert on, on relationships or on stuttering. So you know, like I said, it's just it's just my thoughts, and you shouldn't. I'm crooked, I'm crooked. But um, you shouldn't let let your stuttering hold you back from anything. You know, um, you have a responsibility to yourself um to not let let your stuttering or anything or anyone hold you back from what you want in life at all you know what i'm saying um just you know you got to keep striving and keep working at what you want to do and don't let nothing hold you back if there's a time in which you do speak at a function or you do speak with someone and you're stuttering really bad and you know that's fine you know what i'm saying you you you're you're a person that stutters just keep striving and, and keep moving to improve your stuttering and improving yourself you know we like like with me there's times in which in which i talk and i'm just flowing flowing and flowing and then there's times in which and there's these days in which i'm just stuttering like so much but i don't let it hold me back you know what i'm saying i just keep striving and and keep doing the things that I know that I want to do and things that I know I can do. And I won't let my stuttering or anything hold me back. Tomorrow is a new day. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, and that's how you got to look at it, you know. Um, so that's all I wanted to say. Um, just keep striving. Keep li living your life. Don't let your stuttering hold you back. If you want to date someone, that's fine. You know, if you want to you want to get married, you know, and what, whatever you want to do, you can do it. You know, don't let anything hold you back. Just keep God first in all you do. And things will line up the way that God wants them to line up, which will result in you loving how it's lining up because you're following God. And you will, and you will live that godly life. And things will fall into place. So just keep God first. Love yourself. Love God. Keep striving. Have a blessed day. Peace.